Hi, my name is Kyle Turner, and today I'll be analyzing a New York Times article, Black Lives Matter may be the largest movement in U.S. history. The article goes into depth about the recent news of the powerful movement, Black Lives Matter. The purpose of this movement is to highlight the injustice and unfairness of many acts that have provoked racial inequality throughout the United States. As we know from history books, racial injustice has always been a problem in America. Starting with slavery, to the Civil War, to Martin Luther King, leading to the Civil Rights Movement in the mid-1950s, to now, the Black Lives Matter movement. People all over the United States, in fact the world, have been standing up to fight this battle of racism. During this crucial time in the U.S., the deadly virus that the world has been battling against for the past year has not slowed down this powerful movement. The article from the New York Times goes into depth about the meaning of the movement alongside the analytical aspects of the rallies and protests. When regarding the prevalence of this article, it is fairly new. While being published on July 3rd, more important developments have since taken place. For example, celebrities, athletes, organizations, and much more have used their platform to help intensify the fight of racism. For example, the National Basketball Association, the National Football League, and many more major organizations have a, that have a high demand of viewers have pushed individuals that are idolized to articulate their outlooks to fight for the justice that is deserved. Black Lives Matter was initially founded July 13th of 2013. Nevertheless, the constant goal to battle the unfair discrimination against our black community has been intensified recently. With this being said, the relevance of this article is in pristine timing with the recent frequent developments of the injustice towards this minority. When it comes to the strength of the source, it is known that the New York Times is one of the most well-known resources. It also has the reputation of having reliable information. With this being said, the article consists of analytical information that has been crafted through multiple surveys. The range of the surveys go from the 2018 census to a random survey of adults in the United States. Because of this, it should be noted that there may be some errors in the statistics. The intent of this article is to inform and update readers on the ongoing movement to end racism. It is to my belief that the writers use the information obtained to their advantage to help make a push for what is right and support those who are fighting the civil battle. The authors seem to use a pattern of making analytical statements while expressing how specific statistics relate to them. For instance, the author pushed their readers to use statistics as motivation to help make the fight for racial injustice. Professor McAdam, a well-known professor at Stanford University, stated, We appear to be experiencing a social tipping point. This is rare in society as it potentially be, could be consequential. He has well stated that, it looks for all the world like these protests are achieving what very few do, setting in motion a period of significance, sustained, and widespread social and political change. To sum up the well-written article by the New York Times regarding the racial injustice that has recently been brought to light, the authors use statistics to prove that this recent movement may be the most impactful in the United States history. And in my opinion, this provokes the idea to help the movement in order to become united once again.